I know that this is our first meeting, but I want you to know that I have long, long waited for this moment, okay? So, I want you to know you're special. Is my bottle leaking? It's been a little while, but I thought I'd come in today and share some of the fragrances that I have purchased. I've had them for several months already and have not unboxed them because I was hoping to do that with you. Now I have the opportunity to do that, so I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna get right into it. I'm so excited to start wearing them, really, so let's get into it. So I've got a big box right here with all the fragrances and I'm just gonna pull one at a time and show it to you. So the first fragrance I've got here is Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. So here is the fragrance Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. It is not a new fragrance, however, it is new to my collection. Um, actually, my sister, younger sister, had this fragrance and she smelled really good and I'm not really into florals typically. Um, but this was a floral that I was willing to own and wear so yes it's a perfect summer fragrance um, Daisy Love next fragrance that I purchased is Amouage Sunshine like I said I have had this perfume sitting in the box for a little while now and I specifically bought this one because I knew I didn't have enough summer fragrances. I was in the shopping center one time and I smelled all the Amouage fragrances that they had. And one of my favorites was Amouage Sunshine. And I know that um, different people have talked about it on YouTube. So because I already enjoyed it when I tried it, I bought it. So I finally have it in my collection. I have a family member that also owns it, so I've had plenty of tries with it and I know I will enjoy it. So I'll just open it, show you the bottle. The packaging is also really nice, so we're gonna check that out. Okay, so this is the packaging it comes in and it's Amouage Sunshine Eau de Parfum for women and it's 100 ml. All the perfumes that I have are 100 ml unless I say otherwise. So, um, and it just opens on the side like this. And yeah, it's a very steady box and it's so pretty. Okay. Goodness, am I gonna have space for all for all these fragrances? Okay. This has some sort of tobacco in it. I sprayed the Daisy Love here and it's very like a pretty floral. Um It has a little bit of sweetness, but then when I sprayed the Amouage um, Sunshine here, it's still a summer scent, but it's very mature. It almost smells like a tobacco, a bright tobacco, if that makes any sense. I can see it working on the beach because of the, the salt from the water. It, that will kind of dial down the tobacco smell but it smells a bit it's bright but it's tobacco-ish so yes it'll work day and night okay 
wear it any summer occasion. There's a few of them that I like from this brand, so I'll have to look into purchasing more. Anyways, that's Amouage Sunshine. My next fragrance is Amouage Honor. I had forgotten that I had purchased this because it was right at the bottom of the box and so it looks like yes I do have it and I'll just open it for you I really enjoy the patterns of the boxes the Amouage fragrances come in so like I said this is Honor Amouage Honor Auto Parfum the women's collection so this box opens a bit differently it goes up and that's it there so this cap is gold Mm, this is more creamy smelling mm, That's nice. It smells like a signature scent like an everyday scent um, for a mature woman Okay Yeah, it gives me like Chanel vibes so the next fragrance um, is Amouage Journey. Now I have not tried this one. I do not think, I do not remember. <laughs> but I'm so excited to try it. Huh. And that's the bottle right there. Gold on the side. All the Amouage bottles seem to have like a matching um, colored jewel at the top right here um, so Amouage Sunshine had a yellow one and Amouage Honor Woman had a clear white one so let's smell it I wonder which of the three would be my favorite so mm, this is a bit smoky Uh, I just need it to settle on my skin a bit, okay? Oh, this is different. Almost like a mixture of Honor Woman and Amouage Sunshine Woman. It's so weird because it's smoky and a bit floral. It's nice. Trying to decide which of the three is my favorite. Yes, definitely on our woman for every day. Sunshine for autumn or beach weather. and journey for night out. Yeah. My next fragrance is Watton. I'm part of the Anfas collection. And this perfumer is a niche perfumer and he has a whole collection of really great fragrances. But I wanted to start with this one because it sounded like the notes sounded a lot more like my taste so this fragrance has a really great message that i will have to do a quick video on and share with you so keep a lookout for that and i'll also put the link to the fragrance in the description for you to check out i am so excited to try this it is a blind buy but i am almost <laughs> 100% sure I will love this fragrance so let's find out okay there's always a bit of nerve or like a nervousness that comes with blind buying fragrances
oh that is so pretty look at this box so it says watton right here do you know how hard it was <laughs> to have these fragrances in the box sitting there waiting until i film again it's just it's been hard but i was patient i was disciplined enough to wait for us to share this experience so without further ado <laughs> am i being a bit too dramatic i'm just so excited okay <clears throat> so we open it i think like this so that's it there oh my goodness <laughs> Oh no! It chipped! Oh, it was most likely my fault because I have dropped the box before. So, anyway, you know, this is why I like fragrance packaging to be artistic and more. You know detailed and fancy packaging um, because I already think fragrance is an art you know just like a really nice painting or a really nice artifact you just need to you know put in some effort in the packaging and this is really nice I don't know if you guys can see the bottle so that's the lid right there. The initial spray smells like oud bouquet, but the formulated version. With a bit of a, like a fruit. I think I need to wait for it to dry. So here I sprayed Daisy, Daisy Love. Here I sprayed Honor Woman. Here I sprayed Amouage Sunshine. Uh, here I sprayed Journey, Amouage Journey, and here I have sprayed um, Watton from the Amphis collection. So doing the unboxings is allowing me to let the fragrances dry down and then, you know, I can really get the true scent from it mixed with my skin. So the next fragrance is a Zara fragrance. Actually, um, I purchased about six zara fragrances and some are in my car i started using them and some are i think i gave one away i don't know but right here i've got two that i can see in the box this particular one from zara is called ruby berries so this one has notes of peach red berries and vanilla I'll just try to um, spray it in the cap and I'll try it that way. Yeah, it just smells like berries once the alcohol smell evaporates. Red berries and vanilla, really. But the vanilla is not as intense or anything. It's more berry-like. So that's it. It's a good everyday scent, I'd say. The thing with Zara scents is they don't stay on for very long, so you have to spray generously and um, occasionally throughout the day, you know. But um, some fragrances stay longer than others, but typically they, they don't stay on. But for the price, 
for the price I think this was $29.95 Australian dollars you know and you're getting 100 mils so 3.4 fluid ounces and you know like I said they're just perfect on the go scents to keep to respray um, to share with friends family whoever's in need of a spray when you're out and about okay this is the next Zara scent that I'm sharing with you today this is Gourmand Addict this one was $25.95 I think they were having a sale um, it has notes of peach cassis and patchouli and you know I love patchouli so um, <laughs> It was a must-have so it says how can one live without exquisite the delicate and the rare parts of deliciousness that just sounds like my scent my kind of scent exactly anyway so let's get it out This is it, Command Addict from Zara. It smells a bit like flower bomb, but lighter. A more watered down version of flower bomb but it's it's nice I think it's definitely my kind of scent this would be like my everyday type of smell so it's floral and sweet mixed together making a gourmand like an oriental gourmand you know it's not it's not like pink sugar or yeah it's not like just pure sugariness no it's floral and sweetness it's nice if you've been on my channel before you know that I have a collection of Maison Lancome fragrances I'm um, from the like the private blend line so slowly I am growing that collection it's not all of them that I will purchase but there have been some that I've been really curious about and there's nowhere I can really smell them here in my area so I'm happy to blind buy some of them based on their notes and reviews so this new addition to my collection is called Jasmine's Mazepin um, it's an auto perform um, from the Maison Lancome line like I said and yes that's it there I'll just open it because the bottles always come really nice and I wonder whether this one's gonna have a white cap or a gold cap and all those great things but they just look so good lined up on my vanity I'll quickly show you one of my favorites when I purchased it I did not think it would be my favorite like and my first impression of it I wasn't like super excited I don't know look go and watch the video that I will link in the description about my unboxing of many of these fragrances that I purchased and what I thought of them my first initial review and anyway so this one ended up being <laughs> my most used in the whole collection I think it's my favorite in the whole collection this is iris drage okay and look you guys how much i have used okay if you know anything about me you know that i'm not an over sprayer and i tend to keep things for a very long time and because i already have a lot of fragrances there is no way i would get through a bottle like this but i took it with me everywhere when i went on vacation when i didn't know what to wear i'll wear this one and I had so many compliments that I felt as though it would work anytime anywhere okay and this is another floral that you wouldn't think 
is nice until you spray it. At first, like I said, I wasn't really a fan. And every time I'd wear it, I'd get compliments. So I kept wearing it more out of convenience, you know, and also because I knew I would get compliments. One time I was at the airport and I was checking in and a passenger service officer came by to help me. And then a few of them came as well, you know, just to chat and help out. One was like, oh, you smell amazing. And the other one was like, yeah, I was about to say that. You smell so good, what is that? You know, I kind of thought about, I was like, oh, <laughs> trying to explain what it is, the name and, you know, cause usually I'd have to stand there for quite some time and explain what the fragrance is. Cause you know, I just like to get into the details. But I was like, oh, okay, let's do it. You know, I'm not in a rush. So I was like, yeah, I'm wearing Iris Droger from Maison Lancome. They're like, what is that? What is that? Oh, Lancome, that sounds familiar. Oh yeah. So then I went into explaining the private blend and you know, they're like, where do I get it? It's like, it must be expensive. How much is it? And I'm like, uh, it's all right. Like, <laughs> And then, yeah, you know, we just went into the coast of it. She's like, oh, you know, my budget is around here when it comes to fragrances. I don't go higher than that. But if I'm gonna smell this good, I know I'll have to just, you know, splurge. So we had this huge conversation and exchanged, you know, details about the fragrance and things like that. And they looked it up online and, you know, they're like, look, this is my, gonna be my Valentine's Day. And the other was like, no, my anniversary gift from my husband, you know, you know, we just, we had fun. It was a fun conversation. But like I said, I always draw attention when I wear Iris Droger. And typically, like I always tell you guys, it's not a scent that I would personally pick cause it's so floral and it's, you know, not my type of floral typically, but when I wear it, people love it. So, you know, what, what can I do? I'm just gonna have to keep wearing it. And now I have to slow down because I don't wanna finish the bottle and have to repurchase. <laughs> oh, but it's nice. It's like a candied iris. Drage just means candied fruit or, yeah, so. It's a sweet iris scent. After that whole ramble, <laughs> let us finally give the stage back to Jasmine Mazepine. White box with some gold writing on it. Oh, gold cap, look at that. That's it there. Oh, I do not remember what the notes are for this one. Oh, I'm sure it has some jasmine in it because that's in the name, but um, I don't remember whether it's supposed to smell fruity or musky. Let's try it. I'll just spray it in the cap. Okay. It smells a bit like a candied floral of some sort. So jasmine. Yeah, I like the jasmine flower. Jasmine flowers kind of smell a little bit tart to me. I think it'll be a good signature scent as well. I would put it in the same category as the Iris Drage. It's like floral, candied floral, you know, so a jasmine with a little bit of sweetness there. So it is great. I can't wait to wear it. I will give Iris Drage a break cause girl needs it, okay? She is overused. Lastly, but definitely not least, I do not think you would have guessed that this fragrance would be in this unboxing, but I have said that I might purchase this fragrance. I already have an extract version of it. Does that give you a clue? Okay, so let me get it. Mm. 
Does this fragrance need an introduction? Does it really? Maison Francis Kirkshad Baccarat Rouge 540. This is the normal one and not the extrait. And I did say I was gonna purchase this, so. I am so excited to finally start using this fragrance because it's been sitting there and I've been thinking about it for a very long time, waiting for this day to come. Let's open it. My extract came in a red box. So this is the extract version and this is the auto perform version. Matte white box. So there is the fragrance. I know that this is our first meeting, but I want you to know that I have long, long waited for this moment, okay? So I want you to know you're special. Is my bottle leaking? It's very nice. It is an everyday scent. Everybody knows this. But I'm yet to try it myself. So, this is the Auto Parfum for Baccarat Rouge 540. And this is Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrite. And this is the Auto Parfum. So that's it. They're both 200 ml bottles. Finally, I can use both of them together and separately, but it's good that I have them in my collection. So thank you for watching my unboxing of the fragrances I'm adding to my perfume collection. I am so excited to start using these. Like I said, I've had them sitting there for a little while, but between you and I, I have purchased more fragrances. So. We will be unboxing, reviewing more fragrances and life goes on, you know. So um, if you have any requests, do let me know and I will see you in my next video. Bye.